Hello, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we left off we had arrived at the Picus TV newsroom after escaping the initial ambush. Let's keep going. We're trying to get to the funicular, which I believe is a, just a really fancy word for elevator. So we've cleared the web lobby. Now we're in the TV lobby. Which is all well and good. We have eight guys and one turret to take care of in this segment. And they are permanently alarmed, just like everyone else inside this building. At least before we go through the funicular. I think the permanent alert state finally disappears, but we have to deal with it for a while. Anyway, I think I forgot to just say our current objective is get to the funicular. Pritchard thinks Eliza's holographic transmission was sent from a secret sub-basement in Picus. There's a funicular running down the side of the tower that will take me there, but only if I can reach it. You don't say. Well, let's check out the lobby. We've got an ebook here. Gray Skies, The Aging of the World. The changing face of the people of the world beyond 2025 stems from systemic improvements in human mortality rates and medical technologies. Simply put, as a species, we live longer, and the impact of a shrinking youth bulge across many nations, combined with the gray surge of senior citizens, asks many questions about how global culture will evolve in the next 25 years. China's working age populace has been in decline since 2015, and while increased automation has bridged the gap, the greater number of retirees has been accelerated by a combination of a cultural tradition of early retirement and decades of government-mandated limited childbirth policies instigated in order to limit stress on natural resources. While in neighboring Japan, for every two working age citizens there is one senior, putting considerable pressure on geriatric support structures. Globally, the ratio is closer to one to three. Back here, is there anything? Nope, no drawers, nothing on the counters. Anyway, taking that is the most experientially profitable path, according to the wiki which still has yet to lead us astray. So, Picus TV broadcast. Got a door right here. Guess we can hack this bad boy open. It's only security level two. All right, we can just head for the red. Should be nice and stealthy. Access granted. 300 credits, 50 XP, and now the door is unlocked. I think this is the editing room. Oh, and we are close enough to the bad guys that the alarm state is kicked up. There's no one here on the upper level. Now this door can also be hacked from the outside, so I'm going to leave it alone. Just poke around inside this room for now. can see the guys out in the broadcast area. I don't think anyone has s spotted anything, which is good. While we're up here, let's check out this little back room. We got cameras, microphones, all sorts of news supplies cables. Is there anything useful? That's the question. Yes, sniper rifle ammo and a revolver. 
and an ammunition case with revolver ammo and tranquilizer darts. Nice. Also, over here, we've got an ebook, which is a Hudero ebook, 200 XP. Human powered autonomous energy reclamation systems by Hugh Darrow, excerpt from an article first published in the New Cybernetics and Robotics Journal, Feb March edition 2016. But of course, it's pointless designing these kinds of desktop wonders if the actual device is incapable of operating in the real world without recourse to an infinite supply of battery packs or power generation vectors. What powers the human machine? That's where we must look in order to power the next generation of cybernetic augmentation technologies. Until such times as we can create small, lightweight energy cells capable of running far beyond the lifetime of our products, we fall short. An energy conversion device is the answer. On the scale we're capable of manufacturing now, I'm confident we can create a unit small enough to be implanted, powerful enough to make the best use of chemical energy found in a human body. We do this by mimicking the human digestive process, improving upon the natural method of nutrient conversion from, say, a liquid slurry, perhaps some form of organic protein matrix, directly to chemical potential. The capability also exists to derive neurochemical-specific energy signifiers. And another thing to do is just pop through this vent, since we took the main elevator. Yes, the reason that we want to take the main elevator instead of dropping through the shaft is because we uh, want to hack the doors to the editing room instead of entering through this vent. But if we climb back through the vent to the other shaft, then we can still get the 300 XP Pathfinder bonus right there. We can also get 50 credits and a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack. Not bad. Now, as I mentioned, the top level door from the editing room into the main newsroom is hackable from the other side so we don't want to open it from in here so we'll just climb back downstairs and since I never actually properly searched this room I'll do that now we've got 200 credits on this desk and a pocket secretary Regarding login codes from Anthony Tresman to Picus IT Security Group. Yo, here you go. Login A Tresman, password Skylark. Cheers. IT Security Group wrote, please be advised, your computer login and password will become invalid within two working days. Please select new codes at the first possible opportunity. For security reasons, you are required to contact us with your choice of code. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. IT Security Group, Picus Communications. Easy enough. Is there anything else in here? There is an unlocked computer. So let's see what's on here. From Cecilia Pate to Larry Saputo. Serif interview. Larry, I'm doing the finishing touches on the Eliza interview with David Serif. Do you want me to cut the line Serif says where he refers to TYM as biotech tyrants bent on creating a monopoly? Let me know. Cecilia Pate, editor, Picus TV. From Patrick LeBeau to Larry Saputo, disability release. Mr. Saputo, I am submitting an application for disability release because of a concussion I received from a thrown bottle that hit me on the side of the head while shooting the limb riots in Mumbai. I will be required to miss two months of work. I will send you my medical documents supporting this tomorrow. Thank you, Patrick LeBeau, cameraman, Picus TV. All right. That's all well and good. Let's head out of here now. Keep moving. Here we have a storage room. Let's check it out. Cleaning supplies. Looking for useful stuff. 
There's always something in rooms like this. Ah, lockers. We've got tranquilizer darts. There we go, and it looks like this is a way... Ah. Okay, we can tackle the main broadcast room from here if we want to. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you better... Gotta be careful of that turret. <clears throat> Getting spotted by the turret won't uh, trigger anything. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. I got a guy by himself here. Yeah, that's the other side of the punchable wall. Someone hiding over there? I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Okay. Good. If one of these guys is going to come out, searching next grid. On it, sir. Dang, I thought he was going to come all the way out here. That's what I wanted, but it's not going to be that easy. Hello. If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Someone hiding over there? I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. And where did the other guy go? Is he up here? I don't know. How is it on your side? Well, the first thing I want to do is find the security hubs so I can shut down the cameras and turrets. That'll make moving around much easier. I've got a possible visual. Get over there and confirm it. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Oh, those two were right next to each other. That would have been perfect. Noted. Okay, well, good to know. How is it on your side? Looking good. Keep looking. You got him? No, keep looking. The 
Down here, clean. These two do, do end up right next to each other, but... Now, I don't think the turret ruins Ghost. Let's search these two. All seems well. I'll be happier if I can get him into the editing room. <clears throat> Let's pull this one over. That leaves six guys plus the turret. Is someone hiding over there? Shit, 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 shit. Yet. One, two, three, four. Plus the guy out in the hall is five. Alright, let's try hacking this now. Damn. Nope, gotta shut down the turret first. Because Jensen insists on standing up to hack. I guess that's alright, but... I should see if... Anything has busted my. I should see if anything has busted my ghost before I go too much farther. Make the call. The funicular is over here. One of our guys is down. I think he's alive. Oh shit. Somehow, somebody just spotted those bodies. Well, obviously that won't do. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the... Th okay, good. Ghost is intact. That's what I need to see. So, armed with that knowledge... 
I'll do this because obviously my ghost is fragile. could have sworn one of the security hubs was back here. How is it on your side? Looking good. I'll find you, you little shit. Okay, I want to pull another guard over to this corner and then take them down while I'm cloaked. they were going to pass close enough together but not quite i'm going to have to you got him no keep looking i've got a possible visual make him pay Respond. okay okay if somebody gets a possible visual and then walks over here i should be a okay you got him no keep looking i've got a possible visual get him there Perfect. Yeah, come on over. Fellas. I'll find you, you little shit. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Hostile. Okay, yeah, we'll be able to get those two. Might not even have to cloak. Okay, let's, let's cloak. I don't know why I decided I didn't want to cloak. Let's just use the bar. Cloak up. Head out. Take care of business. Right, that leaves four guys and the turret. 
The Ogre has 100 credits, a Cyber Boost Pro Energy Pack, and 20 Heavy Rifle Bullets. The Soldier has 30 credits. Let's see if Ghost is still good. Granted. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. Yes, You're it is. Excellent. All right. Only two more double takedowns to set up. And execute. I'd still like to find the security hub so I can turn off the turret and the cameras. I'll find you, you little shit! Would just make everything much easier. Got it. it shouldn't be too hard to get these two patrollers together. But I think I can pull the upstairs guy down to the hallway where he first spawned. My main problem right now is the turret. There's one of the security hubs. Let's hack this one. J. Ricard, J. Rickard, no code found. Hello. If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Access granted. 200 credits, stop worm, 50 Whoa. XP. If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. There. Turret disabled. That's what we like to see. Hello. If anyone For now. Is hiding here, you better come out. I need to find I heard that. Come out. Heard it. Dang, dang, dang. This will work, though. Pretty sure about that, at least. Nope. 
I do not have a confirmation yet! Hostile in the area. Keep searching. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I do, I do need to do the jump to pull him just a little bit further out. I heard that. Come out. I thought for sure he had seen me. I heard that. Come out. Okay, so once I get... Mm, up. I heard that. Come out. Let's get over next to this guy, out of sight, and decloak. Seems like I'm not going to be able to pull him over here without huh, without him going full alarm hostile. I don't like this situation. Ah, come on, come on. So close, so close. 
If I could just get, you know, spotted enough. But I don't see that happening. Did you hear footsteps? How did he see me? I was out of his FOV by then. I thought anyway. Guess not. See, there's a concussion mine and a yeah, the gas mine's not not so good, but you hear someone jumping around over there? Show yourself! Crud. Bumped him. You hear someone jumping around over there? Nothing there. He's got 15 credits. Let's see about the other two. Although I guess before I see about the other two, I should see if I still have Ghost. Same deal as before. Access granted. Just seeing if we've got it. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're close to the funicular. Any chance? Yep, we got it. It's all good. That just leaves two more bad guys. Well, let's get started on them. Who the hell is that? Oh, man. Well, that time I just wasn't paying attention. What's the closest those two ever pass to each other? That's my next question. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you better come out. Hiding here, you better come 
out. Someone hides over there. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hostile in the area! Keep searching! Footsteps. Who's there? Oops. You hear someone jumping around over there? Come on, fellas. You hear someone jumping around over there? Oh, I thought I had it that time, but I forgot about, I know they, there was a moment where it could have happened, but. Hello? If anyone is hiding, hiding here, you better come out. Over Sounds there. like Trump! Hold it! Crap. I do not have a confirmation yet. Hello? Anyone is hiding here? Okay, you better come out. You hear someone jumping around over there? Come on. Oh, I had it. I just mistimed it. I could see. I saw the prompt for the double. Ah, that stings. Hello? If anyone is Someone hiding, hiding over here, there. better come out. Make the call. What? Why did he hit the alarm? Hello? Anyone is hiding here? There. Better come out. Make the call. Why are they... What is going on? Why are they hitting the alarm? Hello? Anyone is hiding over here? There. Better come out. Make the call. What? Why? What are they seeing? Well, this is bothering me. All of a sudden, this guy's Hello? alarm happy. Anyone is hiding over here? There. Better come out. Make the call. Why? You haven't seen me. Well, this is getting supremely irritating. What's going on over there? Make the call. They're just going to hit the alarm for anything now? Granted, that's what smart guards would do, but... It's not what they've done in the past, which is why Hello? I am confused. Anyone is hiding here, you better come out. No, sir. I do not have a confirmation yet.
there is someone jumping around over there? Alright, he's got 15 credits and revolver ammo. That one's got two shotgun cartridges. Let's just pull them out of the line of fire. Now I'm going to turn the turret back on and deal with it. Alright. Phew. Well, actually. Just before I do that. Let's see if we've got Ghost. Because that's all the enemies removed with double takedowns. Access grant. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're close to the funicular. Any chance it's sitting Perfect. there? Perfect. All right, all right. We've got Ghost. All of the enemies, well, all of the human enemies at least, have been dealt with. So let's go ahead and make another new permasave. Get rid of the second one. Keep going. Now, just so... I can have a definitive end to all hostilities. Then turn the turret back on. Get behind it. Or near it. Gonna get it down from there. Then I'm gonna destroy it. I'll use a frag grenade. I'll save my EMPs for the tougher robots. <laughs> Alright. That takes care of the turret. Again, I want to make sure I still have Ghost and Smooth Operator. Just because, you know, grenades are loud and such. Access granted. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're There's close Ghost. To the Any chance it's There's sick. Smooth Operator. Perfect. All right. So I will quick save. I will. permanent save and now at last I'm free to actually poke around and explore let's start by hacking the other door to the TV editing room now that there's nothing and nobody around to stop me Access granted. 300 credits, 50 XP. And uh, we've already cleared this room. But there it is. Okay. Now. I'll clear th I'll clean out the upper level of the TV newsroom. There appears to be nothing here, so let's just move to the next table. Check there. Still seeing nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Right there, we got a sniper rifle and sniper rifle ammo. And up here, we have an alarm panel. So let's hack it right quick.
Okay, we can get to the green, or to the red. Access granted. 200 credits, nuke virus, 75 XP. Disable the alarm. Now this camera is still on. How do you like that? We've already been down here, just now we can finally break the wall and have the path open. We've pretty thoroughly explored this hallway, I think. We've already cleared the storage room. Over here, though, I hadn't seen this. We've got stun gun darts and a pocket secretary. Turret's operation. From Madison Rothschild to J.F. Ricard. Hello, Agent Ricard. I'm sorry you got stuck with this detail on such short notice. Don't worry, nothing ever happens around here anyway. Here's your login info on the hub for the building's turrets. Login, J. Ricard, password, macro. Okay. <clears throat> and yes, we have cleared the rest. So, let's see what's behind this door. Ah, another security hub. Which, I have a little doubt, will finally shut down the camera outside. In this drawer, we have 40 credits. In this drawer, we have nothing. This unlocked computer. <clears throat> From Ed Juarez to Gabriel Akbar, urgent, come to my office. Gab, come to my office. Just got a call from HQ. We're going to have to vacate the premises. Ed Juarez, Chief of Security, Picus TV. That's fine. On the desk, we have a stun gun. I think I might have said that already, so sorry. Now let's hack this second security hub. S. Bernard, no code found. That's fine, that's fine. Is it possible to reach the red? It is. Perfect. I don't know why. Did that, exactly. Doesn't matter, though. Access granted. Nuke virus, 50 XP. And we can finally shut off that damn camera. Thank goodness for that. Now all that's left is the ground level. So... Plenty to poke around at down here, but first I'll hack this alarm panel. Cannot go to the red here. Nuke virus, 150 credits. Access granted. 75 XP. Disable the alarm. Perfect. Now then... I got nothing. Back here... There's an automatic unlocking device. And let's... Hmm. I'll leave the central area for last. I just like the aesthetics of that, so... The drawer, 120 credits and a stun gun dart. Continuing around, we get 70 credits and a tranquilizer dart. This desk has obviously been bumped, but... There's the funicular itself. That's just a microphone. We got tranquilizer darts, 70 credits, pocket secretary. Regarding login codes from Michael Wells to Picus IT Security Group. Two days, huh? Glad I got this message in time. Here's the new passcodes. Login M. Wells, password Labadome. Thanks. IT Security Group wrote, please be advised, your computer login and password will become invalid within two working days. Please select new codes at the first possible opportunity. For security reasons, you, re you are required to contact us with your choice of code. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. IT Security Group, Picus Communications. Alright. That's nice, that's good. Nothing over here. And then it's time to start on the center desks. So, this drawer is empty.
over here. We have a level 3 computer lock. This is a Tresman password Skylark, but we're just going to hack it, naturally. Okay, I can do this. Go through the minus 2 node. And capture both server nodes. Access granted. No problem. 200 XP plus 75 for the base hack. From Jerome Tapp to MTL Picus TV. Tickets for the Brian O'Bannon Show. Obvious riff on Conan O'Brien. Hey gang, I've got my hand on four tickets, two pairs, to see the Brian O'Bannon Show in NYC next week. These are VIP passes and allow you to go backstage and meet the guests after the show. Anyone interested, just let me know. No reply all, please. Jay. From Gabriel Akbar to Anthony Tresman. Evacuation procedures. You have been assigned to the evacuation team. Your orders are to see the staff out as quickly and as calmly as possible. We have no details whatsoever, but it comes from up top, so it must be major. Thank you, Gabriel Akbar, Picus Security. Empty drawer. 130 credits. And an unlocked computer. From Yellow One to Keith Leiter, you should be prudent. Don't get me wrong, Keith, I approve of the job you're doing. I just feel it would be more prudent if in your broadcasts you put more stress on the threat of attack rather than on the seemingly imminent breakup of the country, as you put it. We here feel that the threat of terrorist attacks has always proven a more reliable false flag tactic than the demise of republics. Thank you for your time, Yellow One. Now, this is an obvious mistake. This should be Beth Duclair, not Nicolette Duclair, because if Nicolette's even alive, she's a baby in 2027. But it says, from Nicolette Duclair to Keith Leiter, too many prologues. The pro-augmentation element is still too present in the big cities of this country. We here are not sure why this is the case, but it is certain we have to up the rhetorical ante, especially if the UN vote is to go our way. So basically, I'm giving you carte blanche to push the lever even more toward anti-augmentation sentiment in your editorials. You did a great job helping us get Pothy Comitatus suspended. Pull some of those old tactics out and get to work. The next month is crucial to achieving our final goals in regards to this issue. My best, Nikki. Got a pocket secretary in this drawer. Regarding login codes, from Keith Leiter to Picus IT Security Group, login K Leiter password passcode tip tree. IT Security Group wrote, please be advised, your computer login and password will become invalid within two working days. Please select new codes at the first possible opportunity. For security reasons, you, re you are required to contact us with your choice of code. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, IT Security Group, Picus Communications. Get rid of these new tags. All right. There's a shotgun on this desk. And we have a level 3 computer lock. Let's hack it open. Alright, can't get to the red, but doesn't really matter as there are no data stores. It's going to be two nodes either way. So let's just go here, here, to the exit. Access granted. 75 XP, that gave me a new Praxis point. From Jason Daniel to Jeremy Lebrecht, touch up the Queen. Can you do digital touch ups on Keith before you upload his piece tonight? I've never seen a male anchor man with such diva tendencies. He used to say he never worried about his facial blemishes. Must be that new broad he's with. Anyway, get it done. Thanks, Jason Picus TV. From Penny Cuoco to MTL Picus TV, lost my book. Hey, I've lost my copy of Romsky's Point of Views on Power. Has anyone seen it lying around? Thank you in advance, Penny. I'm guessing that's supposed to be a nod to the Big Bang Theory, but I don't know if the actual text of the email has anything to do with it. Anyway. Uh, this drawer has 90 credits. Nothing on the desk. This drawer has another 35 credits. Another empty... Er desk with nothing on it, and that desk drawer has nothing in it. Alright, let's go ahead and spend that Praxis point on something. Oh yeah, Dermal Armor. Okay. Oh, that's fully upgraded. What the hell do I want to buy next? 
Let's see. Sprint enhancement, run silent. Those are all pretty useless. Recoil compensation, aim stabilizer, completely useless. Extra sprinting. I think the most useful thing for me that I can get now is, uh... I think I'll get the... I think I'll get radar, too. I really don't need anything else now. I mean, I have... I have everything that's useful to me, but... Anyway, let's keep checking out these desks. Move the cardboard boxes out of the way so we can search the drawer. It's got a silencer mod in it. Not that that's useful to me, but there it is. On the other side, inside the drawer is nothing. The computer's unlocked. From Morgan Everett to Sonya Helen, take him out. Sonya, I want this Mexican president out by the end of the year. I can't be more direct than that. We can't do any sort of reasonable business with this man. Not only can no new deals be made, but he's stopping arms shipments before they can get across the border, stealing the goods and giving them to the mob. It's time for you to expose his connections to the Russian Mafia. I want this done immediately. We're gonna do him in the same way we did Chavez, Morgan. From John Howard to Sonya Helen. Biased coverage. Miss Helen, I wanted, to I wanted to write you personally about this issue. As a loyal viewer of your station here in Australia, I must let my feelings be felt concerning your recent coverage of events over here. I find the negative light you put on the Northern Free States and the favorable one you put on the National Army and their Bell Tower associates to be, at the very least, biased reportage. I am aware that Bell Tower is your private protectorate, but it should not keep you from calling a spade a spade. Bell Tower is an organization of bullies who will do anything for a good paycheck. The South Australian Federation is led by an oligarchy of powerful politicians and magnates who are willing to sell their nation's future for a fast buck, while the Free State's rebels want to solidify their country's alliance with a powerful superpower and secure a spot on the international map for all Australians. Not only is this band of rebels a symbol of heroism, they are indeed true visionaries. Instead of selling the precious black gold they dug up in the Antarctic, they are willing to truly use it as a political tool and resource, not as a mere commodity. If any country in the world is aware of the potency of protectionism, it's got to be the United States of America, no matter how hard they try to pretend otherwise. Australia doesn't have a space program, if you catch my drift. Please try to acknowledge this fact at one point or another and give the people the truth instead of the corporate dogma. Thank you for your time, John. From Daniel Fortier to MTL Pika's joke. Soiree classique. Sup all. Is repassant le classique et toujours savoureux clap shot au cinéma bousseau de l'accordaire. Répondez juste à moi si vous étiez partant et j'avais acheté les billets. Again, I would love a translation for many French speakers, although I do think that Clapshot is meant to be a riff on Slapshot, which is, in fact, a classic movie, which is awesome. For my English-speaking colleagues, not that I don't want you there, but this movie is only enjoyable for its less-than-stellar French-Canadian dubbing. Still, if you're up for a linguistic adventure, you are, of course, welcome. Dan. We got 40 credits here, and nothing on the desk. So let's just head over here, check the next drawer. We've got 20 credits, more blank desks. Inside this drawer, we've got 35 credits. And here we've got a level one locked computer. I don't know why the frame rate tanked just then, sorry. But all seems to be well now. So now let's tap the computer. M. Wells Lava Dome, but we're just gonna hack it. And we can get to the red. That makes things so easy. Access granted. Nuke Virus Stop Worm 25 XP. From Joshua Mine to MTL Picus TV. Last week's debacle. Hello. I'm sure that many among you have been wondering what happened in the aftermath of last week's debacle on Flightline. The incessant banter of Mr. Tran, combined with botched research by one of the show's assistants, made for some very bad press for our client. 
I'll have you know that the person in charge of the research was subsequently fired, and our colleagues in public relations were able to convince the client to give us a second chance. To the rest of you, keep up the good work. Joshua Milne, Division Supervisor, Picus TV. From Nicolette Duclair to Michael Wells, Purity First Nut. Michael, can you come down to the reception area? We have this Purity First activist who is demanding to see Eliza. He's right outside the door yelling all these crazy things. He says he wants to confront us about our ties with Illuminati, whatever that means. Anyway, he's a nut job, and I want him off our front porch. Thanks, Nikki, Picus TV. Again, I think Nicolette's a baby. I mean, I guess it's possible she'd be a teenager on some kind of internship here, but... I don't really buy it. Anyway, let's check the anchor desk. Nothing there. That's it, we're done in here. Oh, it's finally time to actually hack the funicular door. Which we've done several times already, just checking on ghost bonuses, but... Let's do it again. Access granted. Nuke virus, 25 XP, and an unlocked door, but over here is a weak wall. So let's punch through the wall, get 100 XP and a traveler bonus. Jensen, I've been tracking your progress through the 3D layout. You're close to the funicular. Okay, so that's a 2500 XP getting things done, plus 500 for ghost, plus 250 smooth operator for get to the funicular. Chance, it's sitting there waiting for me. Where would the fun be in that? You'll have to call it and wait. Oh, and Jensen, when you do, they're going to know where you are. Summon the funicular. According to Pritchard, the funicular I need to use is docked in the sub-basement. I need to bring it up to my floor by activating its call button. Well, that's all well and good, but as I am wont to do whenever I complete an objective and actually secure a ghost bonus, I'm going to finally make one last new save and call it a video. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Next time, we'll tackle the funicular. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.